Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to KSNT News here on your Thursday morning. Here's your morning rush to start off your day. In Junction City, police say kids who make school threats or threaten another person while at school will face consequences. Three Junction City students were arrested just recently for doing just that. Police are now encouraging parents to talk to your kids about the seriousness of making threats. After the Florida high school shooting, states are looking to keep track of animal abusers. This is because experts say there is a link between that and mass shootings. The accused Parkland shooter reportedly had a history of abusing animals. Now 11 states are looking to create public online registries of abusers. As of right now, shelters like Helping Hands Humane Society have to rely on their own records to keep pets out of the hands of abusers. Several bills moving through the state house today would allow microbreweries to expand the reach of their product without having to expand their actual brewery. Under the new legislation, microbreweries could con uh, contract with other breweries to brew their beers and even package the beer. Breweries would also be allowed to fill and refill growlers, which are the containers that can be used to transport beer. Currently, there are more than 40 microbreweries in the state of Kansas. Kansas. KCAT is introducing the university's first gastropub. It's called Union Station by JP's and it has a full menu, but it also serves alcohol. They've gotten the restaurant approved by the president and state to have a full liquor license right here on campus. You'll find wildcat traditions in a one of a kind menu. Molly Pat, if you could pick me up one of these sandwiches before you go, that'd be awesome. By lunchtime today, temperatures will be in the 40s, lots of sun, plus some breezy north winds. In a few minutes, I'll have a full check of your seven day forecast, some warmer weather as we go closer to the weekend.